Press Cop Van Meyer III here. Today is a spicy episode. We are doing George Dickel's Tabasco Whiskey. It's whiskey finished with Tabasco. Really looking forward to this one. So Tabasco itself as a sauce is finished in barrels. They take those used barrels and they finish their whiskey inside of them to incorporate the two flavors. So we'll see how well they do that. I've always thought to myself, boy, this whiskey needs a vinegar hot sauce. Is it a cost cutting move or a genius one? We're gonna find out. So what's going on in the world? You know, we got beers getting into the seltzer game. We got whiskeys getting into the condiment game. That's a little crazy, George. What are you thinking of? Oh, George is dead. He's been dead a long time. Probably why they're allowed to do this. Old George never would have let that happen to his precious whiskey. His great great grandson sullying up the family name for Instagram likes. <laughs> We've all been there. Hashtag PV3. Looking at this bottle, I mean, it looks like Tabasco, right? They let it take over the whole product. Says it's a handcrafted small batch using Tabasco pepper sauce. Got the little cap that reminds you of Tabasco bottle. Now Dickel's traditional whiskey. A lot of people say it tastes like Flintstones vitamins. Never heard that in a whiskey, but uh, they still seem to sell a lot of it. So people must like it. And I'm sure they have a customer base who would love some nutritional value in their whiskey, or at least needs it desperately. I don't use a lot of condiments myself. I never want to insult the chef. I like to eat my entrees as is. But at home, when it's from a can, a little bit of Tabasco on there helps it go down a little bit easier. The straight beans, not a lot going on. Well, let's open it up. That is absolutely Tabasco and whiskey. Let's put it in the sniffer. smelling those peppers. Whew. This comes in at 70 proof. A little bit on the smoother side of alcohol content for whiskey. I'm getting notes of squirrel jerky. Really spicy raccoon. Barbecued possum. Scrambled eggs in the morning. A little dash of Tabasco on top of those. Keep those scrambled eggs a little runny. That's how I like them. Nice amber color. A little bit of caramel in there. Getting hints of a Jalapeno truck and a whiskey truck colliding. Very high speeds. Getting hints of chelada without the clam. Spirits like this used to be called fire water. And uh, from the smell, this is probably as close as it gets. It smells like a nice whiskey that somebody spilled a little too much vinegar into. It's still whiskey. So we're gonna try it. Definitely getting some Tabasco heat with that. So you got the whiskey heat that comes on. Tabasco comes in. A little bit of a finish there. <clears throat> a little bit coming through and coating the throat. Well, that's a lot of Tabasco. It's fine, I can handle it. I mean, the finest chefs have made me the hottest dishes. From Madrid to Calcutta to Tennessee. Let's give it another taste. coagulated blood in there. <laughs> I gotta say, that's a pretty nice blend. You certainly have a sweeter, lighter whiskey that they're using for this. The Tabasco comes on with some pretty robust flavor. Some spice that finishes it at the end. This is a fun little sip in whiskey. I do taste that Flintstones note, just a little bit. Got some Bam Bam in there. They say they aged it, but I'm getting the feeling they just squirted some Tabasco in here. Squirt, squirt, squirt. So who would be drinking this? Well, anyone who would be on Hot Ones. This is right up Sean Evans' alley. The Hot Ones. Now that's a great YouTube channel. Am I right? Well, I would never be able to be on it. I'm not big enough of a celebrity, but I mean, I would. I would love to be on that show. If I ever got there to a level that they would invite me on, and then I would say, yes, I do want to be on so badly. I would play it cool, you know, one day. And Abby, I mean, she used to say, Sean Evans, he's so sexy. And I wasn't even mad about that, because she was right. So if you feel like tagging Hot Ones, go ahead. They need to know about this Tabasco whiskey. They need to know about it. Let's help out their algorithm for a little bit. Still don't know how they work, but let's help his algorithm and mine out at the same time. Tag us together. Abby used to say that. I'd love to be tagged by Sean Evans. Oh. 
Uh, people who would be drinking this. Yeah, I already said it. Uh, we already covered me on hot ones. Well, people who like traditional whiskey, but not that much. Sadist whiskey connoisseurs. Tennessee moonshiners who like a little kick in the guts when they wake up in the morning. People in the advertising crowd who just love cross-branding promotions. And Karen will drink anything. I tell you who wouldn't be drinking this is anyone with an ulcer or a cut in your mouth. So who else would be drinking this? Henry Hank Dickel. Cousin four times removed from old George. He was always putting things in his whiskey. Ketchup, mustard, salsa, mayonnaise. He only did the mayonnaise whiskey once. Are there any other condiments you'd like to see in whiskey? Comment below. For me, a very smooth Dijon mustard would be magnifique. For my rating of zero to 100, I'm giving this a 68. It's pretty sweet, smooth whiskey, has a really robust Tabasco flavor that comes through at the end. This is a fairly fun whiskey to drink.